The Lenexa Police Department recently deployed the grappler for the first time and it was successful. Think of the grappler like a lasso. The black strap is the circle that ropes the tire and the yellow part is the part that the police pull. Grappler engaged. The snag maneuver is a safer way for law enforcement to stop cars on the run. This is video from Stock Enterprises. Corporal Rich Sanchez with Lenexa PD spotted a drunk driver on I-35. When he tried to pull him over, the driver took off. That's when the grappler spreads its wings. Good grapple. It's kind of like the Batmobile. We hit the little switch inside and then it deploys. The web wraps around the tire and the dangerous driver isn't going anywhere. If you are in the driving car, uh, all it feels like is like your vehicle had a malfunction. The grappler doesn't spin out the car like pit, another more aggressive maneuver. On a highway, pit or stop sticks could be dangerous with innocent people driving by at a high rate of speed. I think it could help. Uh save lives. Leonard Stock actually came up with the grappler after watching a police pursuit show. They had some pretty bad smash ups of uh, people innocent getting uh, smashed into and it was just I had a, an uneasy feeling watching that like I'm sure everyone did. Lenexa PD is the only agency in Kansas to get their hands on a grappler. In Missouri, Cass and Bates County Sheriff's offices both have one. Sanchez says it takes a lot of practice and special training to pull off an accurate grappler, but it's worth it. It's a lot more controlled. He believes this outcome will pave the way for a safer community. At the end of the day, um, his, his tire got popped and that's it. Right now, the Lenexa Police Department only has one of these grapplers, but with a successful deployment under their belt, they're hoping to get many more in their fleet. Reagan Porter, Fox 4, working for you.